Hey guys, Abner Miranda here. Today I wanted to talk with you about why we want to shoot reactive targets whenever possible. You know, when you see people shooting tannerite, when you see people shooting glass, when you see people shooting, you know, milk jugs full of water, it's because they're trying to get some kind of a physical reaction from their target. It's human nature to want to see cause and effect. But when we shoot paper, which is, you know, 98%, I'd say, of, of, of the firearms training uh, world, is being done on paper. The reason paper is done is it's easy to haul around, it's, uh, it's easy to set up, it's safe, meaning that you can have a, uh, a student very close to a paper target and not worry about anything coming back at, at, the, at the shooter. If you want to learn, if you want to see a reaction and learn very quickly, then you shoot steel. The reason we want to shoot steel whenever possible is when you shoot steel and you watch the physical effect of the round hitting the steel, within 300 milliseconds your brain creates a new neural pathway and labels it success. It's, it's no different than, say, uh, shooting hoops, hitting golf balls, hitting baseballs. The athlete has a physical response from the ball and or the apparatus that they're shooting at with that ball and they're able to create new neural pathways. And, which is why I enjoy shooting a lot at steel. When you shoot steel, you get a physical effect from this target, right? And you'll notice that I'm chasing this target. I'll shoot it, it rocks back, I wait for it to try to come forward, and I shoot it again to stabilize its forward motion. So it's teaching me to get back on my, on my front side as fast and as hard as I can. What you cannot do with steel, unfortunately, is you can't shoot it this close. And the reality of gunfighting, unfortunately, is that this is quite often where we find ourselves as private citizens. Someone manages to get up close on us, and next thing we know, the fight's on. And before you know it, the fight has begun and ended, and you don't even realize what has just happened. This is why I enjoy shooting rubber dummies. These guys are from rubberdummies.com, and you can shoot these point blank with everything. I mean, and I literally mean everything, 12 gauge, rifle, handgun, whatever. They're made out of a very, very tough rubber, and you don't want to hit it very hard because you're going to feel it. But what I like about these guys is you can shoot very close to them, and I mean like very, very close. But in combatives training, you have to train for things where you find yourself doing this very close to a target. And with these guys, you can do that without any concerns of anything coming back at you, without any concerns of... Um, of any uh, you know fragmentation, all you really get is a little peppering from the paint popping off of the dummy. These guys are refaced by using uh, a good high quality primer. Um, you can you can use paint, but the reason primer is suggested is that primer uh, sticks better, comes on you know sprays on thicker, and dries more quickly than paint does. Um, these guys have transformed how I train, and I wanted to show you that this is a viable option if you're considering getting into um, well really lightweight mobile training that's the other the other aspect about these guys a couple of rubber dummies will easily fit into the trunk of most cars because they actually break down the top comes off the base unscrews into a, into three different pieces and it drops into your car so from a from a basic standpoint whenever possible you want to be shooting reactive targets if you're looking for reactive targets that are also easy to move around, rubber dummies are going to be your best bet. That's what I've got for you guys today. As always, I thank you for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.